motivated, driven. When powerlifter Rohan Murphy hits the gym, he shows everyone he's got game. One, two, three. Rohan can bench press 350 pounds, nearly three times his body weight. Yeah. Carry a 45 pound weight on his back while doing push ups and walk the entire length of a football field on his hands. Perfect. It's no small feat for the 28-year-old from East Islip. You see, Rohan does all of this without legs. Being born with deformed legs, then having my legs amputated at the age of four, it was tough, it was tougher for me to get over. What Rohan had to overcome were birth defects. Born without a hip joint on one side and only half a hip joint on the other, his legs never worked. Rohan knew he was different, and it wasn't easy fitting in. I had my difficult times growing up without legs because it was hard for me to relate to other people. I felt like I was an outsider, I felt like I was an outcast. There were so many things that I couldn't do, and one of those things was playing sports. I remember going to gym class every day and having to sit out, watch my friends play kickball, watching them play soccer, watching them play softball. It was really frustrating. One person turned his life around. It's real tough. Impressed with Rohan's strength, East Islip Middle School coach Ronnie Croto convinced him to give wrestling a shot. He had that upper body strength, and I knew that soccer wasn't going to work, basketball wasn't going to work, but wrestling could work in the back of my mind. And it was on the wrestling mat where Rohan, with half the body but twice the strength, found himself in what he lost. I fell in love with the sport. I couldn't believe it. It was a sport that I could actually do for my school. It was a sport that I could do with able-bodied kids go out there and compete and just be like everyone else and it just gave me a new perspective on life. Rohan's star began to rise. After a successful high school wrestling career, he went on to wrestle in Division I for Penn State University. My friend, the little sparrow. In 2008, Rohan made his television debut in a Nike commercial titled No Excuses. Today, Rohan has turned his personal victories into an inspirational message about the power of perseverance. It's a message he's taken outside the gym. If I can beat the odds in life, in life, why can't all of you? He's now a motivational speaker, talking to students across the nation about chasing their dreams. When I was a kid, people always told me what I could and couldn't do because of my disability. His method of show and tell, a hands-down favorite among the fifth graders at Longwood Middle School. I learned that if you have a disability, you can still do what people ever do, and if people say you can't do something, you can still try to do it. I've learned that, like, believe in yourself, about, like, leaving yourself and never give up. Lessons taught by a man who, as a child, tried so hard to fit in. In the end, what makes Rohan different is not his body, it's his heart. As I got older, I started to realize that being disabled, it's not a curse, it's a gift. And then I can use this gift to go out, motivate, and inspire people to live a better life. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. for me, I was born with a very severe birth defect that left both my legs deformed. And a lot of people ask me, well, what do you mean deformed? Well, to make it simple, when I was born, my kneecaps were on the opposite side. When I was born, my legs were backwards. At the time, unfortunately, my doctors really didn't have any answers for my parents. And my parents took it really hard, especially my mom, because she blamed herself. She thought that maybe it was her fault or that she had taken something during the pregnancy to cause his deformity. But it wasn't her fault. I guess you could say, it was just mother nature dealing me a bad hand in the game of life. Went on the first couple years of my life to live with deformed legs and finally, at the age of four, my parents and doctors decided that it'd be best if I had my legs amputated, taken off, in hopes of someday, maybe around middle school or high school, to get prosthetic legs and walk in prosthetics. 
So at the age of four, I had my legs amputated, but I had some complications through surgery, and I required five additional surgeries afterwards. So for the first couple years, I spent a lot of time in the hospital, a lot of time at home trying to recover from all these surgeries and procedures. And for the first couple years, I was even homeschooled. Because physically, I just couldn't attend school every day. And the biggest thing for me was to overcome the phantom limb pain. Now, a lot of people ask me, what exactly is phantom limb pain? Well, the best way I can describe it, I want all of you to take your right hand, open and close your hand. Now, just imagine that same sensation, that same feeling, by not actually having your arm there. That's what phantom limb pain is. And finally, around at the age of eight, it started to go away, and I started to attend school when I was in third grade. And that first day of school in third grade, huh, that's when it hit me. That's when I truly realized that I was different. Was, because when I first started going to school, there were so many things that I couldn't do on a daily basis that all my friends and classmates were able to do. And a big thing for me, at that point in my life, when I was a kid, was the ability to play sports. Because as a kid, I loved sports. I had no natural passion for sports. I think that love and passion for sports came from my father, Noel, because he grew up in Jamaica, and he named me after his great athletes from when he was a kid. The first one was a cricket player by the name of Rohan Kanai, and my middle name, Mario, came from his favorite soccer player, Mario Kempes. And that's how I got my full name, Rohan Mario Murphy. Had a nice little ring to it, right? <laughs> All right, fine, it doesn't. <laughs> But anyhow, growing up without legs, I still love sports, but when you don't have legs, you really can't play too many sports, like travel, soccer, little league baseball. And at a young age, I never really thought that I would have the opportunity to play competitive, able by sports. But thankfully, that all changed. When I was in middle school, when I was in eighth grade, because of one person, because of one teacher, my eighth grade phys ed teacher, Mr. Ron Croto, a coach, as I called him. And you see, most people don't really believe that teachers or administrators in schools have that ability and that power to change a student's life forever. But trust me, believe me, they do. And that's exactly what Coach did for me. See, Coach realized once again by not having legs, obviously, I couldn't play most sports like soccer, which he was coach of at a middle school. So Coach was nice enough 